What is up, y'all? Capone Sony Sony here. And uh, we had a pretty big content drop right now for Ever Crisis. Uh, this is, what, week number five now of the, the half anniversary event? And we just got Kate Sith as a new playable character. So this video is going to be focused just on him and this new banner that we just got. It involves him and Tifa. So, God, look at all these banners, dude. <laughs> so this is the top featured banner. We got Tifa and Kate Sith in his new costume. I'm going to focus, yeah, on this banner, and I'm going to focus on Kate Sith's actual weapon kit. We're going to go through each weapon, see what looks good, see what is kind of eh. Yeah, just go through it all on the fly, essentially. So this banner first. Uh, first, we got Tifa in this bunny outfit. So I think this is probably going to be a pretty big seller in Ever Crisis. Um, yeah, it's a Tifa outfit. Sexy outfit. She's uh, showing some uh, booba a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it, it'll do well, at least for cosmetically. Like the actual costume itself, though, you know, it's pretty good. It's got it's the second Water Blade Arcanum, which is great. Uh, the other one is what uh, Glenn's, uh, Glenn's costume, which is limited. This isn't limited. Well, I mean, the costume's limited, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, the magic ability potency is great, too. Magic ability potency, Water Blade Arcanum good costume the problem with this though is that uh tifa is a very fi uh physical based character and this is like her first like banner that's like focused fully around magic so her weapon is the bunny gloves that's magic attack 46 uh water ability potency not really great at 26 this is maxed out by the way 850 percent water damage magic water damage um Magic attack is increased, so essentially every time she uses this, she buffers She buffs herself. So you use it one time, you get the low, use it again, you get mid, then you use it again, you get high. Which is actually a pretty neat mechanic. So yeah, you get 480%, then it goes to 710 at OB6, 850. Our ability is not really fantastic, but I, I kind of like this weapon. I mean, it, I mean, when it comes to elemental damage, it's good. It's like top tier 850 percent i mean it's not top top tier but it's still good and um and plus you get the buff every time you use it which is pretty neat in my opinion and you get magic attack magic attack sigil boost so uh look at that magic attack 684 um so yeah it's a pretty good weapon i mean that's that's just the problem though is that i i wouldn't draw on this for me personally even if i did have the crystals because uh Tifa is just a physical based character. I built her <laughs> to be a physical DPS and it's kind of hard to just kind of switch to a magic build like all of a sudden. But if you would want to do that, she has a couple weapons that I think would kind of fit that. You could possibly use, um, you could use Tiger Fangs, but this is a physical attack weapon, but it has magic attack in the R ability and it can decrease magic attack. So you could go with that. Power Soul is what I would personally probably go with because it's got magic ability potency. It's got HP sur for survivability. So I think that would kind of pair well with that weapon. And uh, what else? Kaiser Knuckles could possibly pair well with it too. But the R abilities on this weapon kind of suck. <laughs> um, but yeah. See, like, Tifa is a very physical based character. So I, 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 I think the weapon in, you know... Water, water Arcanum, water um, magic ability potency on the costume is good. The weapon is good. It's just, yeah, I, you know, I feel like most people are building Tifa into a physical character. But, you know, it's a, still a good weapon and costume overall. Just my, just my thoughts on all this. <laughs> all right, so the main focus of this video, we got a brand new character in Kate Sith. Uh, let's look, actually look at his new banner weapon here. And this one's going to have some new stuff to it. New, new game mechanics. So, the flower vase is in this new weapon. As magic attack is increased, goes mid, and then eventually goes to high. So, this is kind of like a similar weapon that we've seen already. Uh, Barrett's, um, what, micro laser already does this, where you can buff an ally with magic attack. You get the region, you get the magic heals cast. The new thing added to this weapon, though, is haste. So, haste. Haste is in the game now, guys. I think this is the only weapon in the game that can cast haste on an, an, on an ally. But the, the catch here, and this is why I'm not like a big Kate Sith fan, is that all his, like, I don't know, he's a very luck-based character, right? 
So every time you cast this, you have a 20% chance that haste is going to be applied. You know, 22 out of 10 times, 1 out of 5 times, you'll get the haste. But, I mean, that's better than the typical 10% that you usually get for, like, crits in this game. So since Kate Sith is a luck-based character, they're probably, you know, up in that rate a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty neat. I mean, alone, like, few characters have this weapon, like, without the haste. And it's still a pretty good weapon. So this is kind of like just an added luxury. And like, if you actually, but I, but it's something like you really can't depend on the haste, though, right? It's like just luck that if you get it or not. <laughs> Which uh, you know, some people might like, some people are probably gonna hate. I personally don't really like that, but you know, that's just me. But when you actually look at this weapon's R abilities, 62 magic attack, 39 magic ability potency. That's pretty freaking sick. <laughs> like that's that's really good R abilities. Uh, you know, all this, just magic attack boost. It would be nice to have a sigil break here, but, you know, it is what it is. And these stats aren't really great for damage-wise, maxed out at 120 either. So, kind of another downer. But, you know, it's mainly just used as a buffing weapon. So, yeah, there you go. Tip, it's pretty much the micro laser that Barrett has, except with the bonus of possibly casting haste. And haste, um... Isn't haste like what happens when you break the sigil and the ATB moves faster? Essentially, uh, I guess it's going to work like that. But I don't know. We haven't really tested haste yet, so that's just my assumption. All right, so that's my thought on his weapon. Let's actually look at his costume, too. So <laughs> his costume is actually pretty, 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 pretty cool, in my opinion. <laughs> So, he's got buff debuff duration and critical potency arcanum. Oh, so that's interesting. Critical damage plus 50%. Wow. That's actually pretty neat. So, yeah, like like I said, you guys, uh, Kate Sith is just going to be a very freaking luck-based character. And having, like, a ton more critical damage is actually pretty cool, in my opinion. Buff debuff duration. So, it seems like Kate Sith is going to be more focused just based on... His damage output's going to be based on luck, but he's also going to be used as a good buffer and debuffer as well. That's what I'm kind of feeling right now. But let's actually look at his whole kit and see. So we got the first weapon. This is this the yellow megaphone. I believe we got two free copies of this from like um, some campaign. So yeah, you can claim pretty much everyone's going to be OB1 on this. Just uh, claim it from your gift box. But this one has Sonic Meow, has boost attack, boost ability potency. 380% physical and elemental. The crit rate is 30%, which is actually pretty crazy. And then when you hit a crit, you get three times damage, which is actually pretty cool. So if you actually max this out at OB10, you get 700% physical and elemental. Uh, the R abilities are pretty much exactly like uh, Shinra Blade and uh, what, Hauser. So it's pretty good. 660 physical attack. Uh, P attack, P attack, attack, it's fine. So yeah, another just kind of luck-based weapon. You, you know, you can OB6, 590% physical and elemental, but you know, you got a, pretty much a third of a chance to do three times damage. And then when you combine it with that costume, you can do, their crit's going to do more damage, which is, it's kind of sick, but like I said, it's going to be based on luck. <laughs> and a lot of people might not like that. I personally don't like it, but there you go. If you want to roll the dice with Kate Sith, this, this is probably what a lot of his build's going to be like. So, all right, let's go to the next weapon. We got Green Megaphone. Does the Bloomin' Spray. Does 390% magic water damage. Uh, also, when 50% HP, uh, water resist is decreased. Mid, it goes to high. So, at OB6, high, high, high. And then OB10. Uh, High, high, more, less, longer. So, essentially, this is kind of like, um, I would say it's kind of like uh, Black Whiskers, except this actually does water damage, and it's the magic version. So, you actually do water damage, but, the, you know, minus Black Whiskers, you don't have the actual debuff of defense. But, this is still pretty good. I actually kind of like this weapon. Yeah, it does water damage with water decrease, and it has water potency, which... And Sigil Boost. It's actually a pretty good weapon. I actually really like this one. So, yeah. My thoughts on Green Megaphone. Uh, Blue Megaphone. Uh, 
So we got Blazaga, AoE, um, OB6, HP, Ice Potency, HP, Ice Potency. So this one, uh, you know, just the typical AoE elemental weapon. Nothing really too crazy. A lot of characters have this. Our abilities are pretty neat. Ice Potency, HP, but outside of that, eh, this weapon's like fine. Nothing, nothing special though. Red Megaphone, uh, okay, this so is pretty much the same thing except it's fire instead of ice. So you get HP, fire potency. So these weapons are pretty decent for our abilities, but I wouldn't, you know, probably use these as a main weapon. So yeah, that's my thought on those. Crystal Megaphone, uh, instant barrier. So PDF is increased as the regen, magic heal. Um, so it starts out at mid, then it goes to high at OB6. And then it goes to, yep, pretty much at high. Just uh, boost attack, magic ability potency, all three magic attack. So just another buffing weapon, you know, buff defense for an ally. So there you go. Like I said, it seems like Kate Sith is going to be very built around either being a luck-based damage dealer and a buffer or debuffer. That's the vibe I'm getting right now with this kit. So Silver Megaphone does Spinning Punch, HP, and Ability Potency. That's kind of an interesting pairing. Have we had that kind of pairing before? I don't know. So act the actual weapon itself, PDEF is decreased. When hitting a crit, PDEF is decreased high for 20 seconds. Oh, it just goes straight to high if you hit the crit. Crit rate's 20%. So there you go, guys. This is another weapon... I honestly, I kind of don't like this weapon because, because look at this at OB ten, it can it just does low, like it still just does low, unless you hit the crit. If you hit the crit, it automatically goes to high even at OB zero. So this this is a very very luck based weapon. So yeah, this one I'm yeah I'm not really a fan of this one. <laughs> Interesting our ability though, like I said, we're getting a lot of ability potency. It seems like. HP and ability potency. Alright. Interesting weapon. I'm not a fan of that one, though. Uh, gold Megaphone. So, another one of these. It looks like it's where it's going to be a crit. Where the crit's going to add another more utility to it. So, physical, non-elemental damage. Crit rate 20%. Fire resist is decreased at... So, it starts out at mid. Then it goes to high. Then it goes to high with longer duration. So, this is essentially Yuffie's boomerang but this crit portion where it decreases magic attack also is just like a bonus to that which actually this is actually pretty good it's actually a, like a better boomerang like this stuff this this alone right here without the crit portion is good but you know if you hit a crit then damn magic attack is decreased you know it's just like a bonus debuff so yeah I kind of like this one kind of like that one all right, so Battle Trumpet, 220% physical non-elemental damage, so it's AoE, crit 20%. Magic attack is decreased low, all enemies. When hitting a crit, P attack is decreased mid, all enemies. Interesting, so this is like a janky version of Kucha Blade, is it? That's what it kind of looks like. Another one, P attack ability potency. So we're getting ability potency on a lot of his weapons. Um, 300. So at OB6, does mid to mid, and P attack is decreased high. So there you go, you got mid to high. So it, it is a kind of like a Kuja Blade, but yeah, you're to get that second debuff, you're gonna have to hit the crit, which eh, <laughs> I kind of don't like. And yeah, starting out is just low on all enemies. It's interesting. Yeah, I think Yuffie, what, Four Point Shuriken's kind of like this too, right? Where, But it's like the physical uh, decreased off the bat. And then once you get to OB6, it does mid to all enemies. So you're kind of getting that uh, added bonus of P attack is decreased high to all enemies as well. If you hit the crit, like I'm saying. Like, you're, you know, 20%, you know, it's one out of five chance. It's not great. But if you hit it, the shit's pretty sick, right? <laughs> That's just Kate Sith in a nutshell, really. See, it's a lot of this stuff is just based on, you know, hitting crits, which, 
<laughs> I don't like, but I know a lot of people probably will like it. P attack is increased for Marching Horn. Okay, P attack is increased. Regen, Magic Heal. So this is essentially what? Uh, like Matt's buffing weapon, essentially. Or like Lamppost, essentially. Something like that. But this, look at these R abilities. So this is, these R abilities are insane. Boost heal 62 points. Buff debuff duration. Pretty, you I know, mean, it's not really high in buff debuff duration, but still. OB6 on this. 18, so you get, what, 80%? So, I kind of like this weapon. You know, it's a, like another buffing weapon. So there you go. I mean, 54 points in heal at OB6 is pretty insane. So, I, I actually kind of like this one. At least just for our abilities alone, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So we covered his kit. So, yeah, overall, yeah, I very interesting. Yeah, I'm, a lot of it is based on luck, though, like... If you don't like the luck aspect of Kate Sith, you're probably not going to like this kit. I think this weapon's very interesting <laughs> with the 30% crit rate. And then you combine it with the fact that, you know, if you hit the crit with his new costume, you're going to do, like, do crazy damage. So that's something to consider. But overall, you know, I think his kit's fine. But I'm just not, like, a big Kate Sith guy in general. I mean, I have not... I've never really liked Kate Sith ever since OG FF7. Or, I think he is kind of better in Rebirth, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I'm still not, like, a big Kate Sith guy. So, I probably won't ever really draw on his banner or really, you know, build around this character. I'm, I'm still trying to build Yuffie as, like, my buff debuffer. And, um, I mean, you could probably do that with Kate Sith as well. as And combine him with another weapon that does, you know, crit damage. But... Overall, I'm not like big on this guy, this kit, or this character in general. So that's just my opinion. I'm sure other keep other other um, character uh, <laughs> other uh, players will like him, and that's perfectly fine. It's your account. Do what you want to do. But I kind of went through his kit, and I think it's pretty good overall. You know, just my opinion. And uh, to end this video, I have uh, some draw tickets. Well, actually, there's a campaign going on right now. So if you look at this campaign. Um, just kind of do all this simple stuff and you get a bunch of free draw tickets, you get uh, free uh, weapon enhancement parts, you get free memories, so just knock all that out. All pretty simple, straightforward. And uh, there's a new chapter in the story, which I'm going to jump into right after this video. And then there's probably going to be a new dungeon as well, which I'll probably make a video on. So, there we go, you guys. We got 60 free tickets on Kate Sith. Let's see if the Gotcha Gods... Uh, well, help me out here. <laughs> We're gonna get Mursame? No. Jesus. <laughs> well, that was terrible. All right, this one we're just gonna do a quick skip. Not even, not even paying attention here. Boom. Okay. 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 The quick skip is good. <laughs> Such a funny character. Battle Trumpet. Not sure what, which one that one was. The Silver Megalon. I'm pretty sure that's the one I did not like, where it was like very dependent on crit. Alright. Let's keep going. Two five stars, though. Yeah, you can take it. Also, like I said, you get two uh, copies of the, like, the yellow megaphone, so. Go ahead and claim that from your gifts. Meh. The feed skip did not work, so we're gonna go with the quick skip again. Alright. There you go. We got one Kate Sith. And it's already another OB, so we got OB1 Battle Trumpet. <laughs> I kinda forgot what that one does. Hopefully it's one of those uh, ones that I like. Quick skip again. Quick skip's working, man. I'm sticking with that. Is that another freaking battle trumpet? So we're at OB2 battle trumpet already. <laughs> Hopefully it's a weapon I actually like. Quick skip. Oh, the quick skip was shit that time. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's actually check out this battle trumpet. 
All right, let's go enhance weapons. All right, so this is the one that's magic attack is decreased. Okay, this, so this is kind of the janky Kuchi blade I was talking about. <laughs> So it does AoE damage, and then you can get magic attack increase, and uh, potentially a physical attack is decreased as well. So this one, you know, it's fine. The the R ability is actually okay on it. P attack and ability potency. All right. Well, I think that covers it for this video. Um, if you enjoy my Ever Crisis content, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Later.